Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm really excited because as I'm making this video, it's June 20th. Summer is officially upon us. We started a day earlier this year and I hope that you've had a chance to enjoy this nice weather we've had. I know it's been really hot, but um, hopefully you've had a chance to spend some time with family and get out and see some different things going on in the community. In my last video, I went over some charts that NIAR puts out that basically give a snapshot of what the 2017 real estate market is shaping up to be compared to what happened in 2016. From the charts we went over, I basically discovered that inventory is low, especially for homes in the $100,000 range. And because of that and some other factors, prices are continuously rising in this area. So I wanted to make a follow-up video to basically help buyers who may be thinking about buying this year or sometime soon, think about some things they need to be prepared for as they begin looking for homes. So there are eight general areas that a lender will look at when they consider approving your mortgage loan request. And I wanted to cover those eight things and sort of break them down and help you decide what are some next steps you have to take as you think about buying this year or sometime in the future. So the first area that a lender will consider is your current income and assets. These are things like savings that you have and the income that you're currently making from your job. Combining those two things, what are you bringing in to your household as far as earnings? This can also look at assets like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, any investments you have as well. The second thing a lender will consider is your current employment status. Do you have a job? This is a really basic piece of information that a lender wants to know. Can you pay them back? Are you going to work every day? Are you providing for yourself or your family? So you definitely need to consider having a job if you want to apply for a mortgage loan. The third thing a lender will consider when you apply for a mortgage loan is your credit history. So you have to think back to all the loans you've taken out in your lifetime so far. These can be things like credit cards, a car loan, or even another mortgage you've taken out. So you have to think back to even when you first turned 18, maybe you were like me and you took out an American Eagle credit card loan because you had to have that shirt or that shell necklace or those ripped jeans that were totally in at the time. The fourth thing a lender will consider when qualifying a borrower is what the actual monthly loan payment will be. So keep this in mind, you may already be looking at houses online, is how much house can you afford? The fifth thing a lender will consider is how much you're actually paying out on other loans on the same property. So this would only have to do with someone who already is in a home who wants to borrow against that home for something else or maybe even improvements to the home itself. The sixth thing that a lender considers when qualifying a borrower is what other mortgage related expenses would be. So something like private mortgage insurance. If you get an FHA loan, you have to have insurance on that actual loan. So I'll be doing videos in the future that help break down what types of loans there are and what types of insurance you might have to have on a loan that you get. The seventh thing is probably the easiest to understand and it's just what other debts do you have? So this sort of relates to your credit history, but it just looks at currently right now, what other debts are you having to pay? Are you really leveraged with other things that you've financed that might affect your ability to repay this loan? The eighth and final area that a lender will consider when qualifying a buyer is your income ratio and your debt ratio. So to break those things down, the income ratio or housing expense ratio establishes borrowing capacity by limiting the percent of gross income a borrower may spend on housing costs. Housing costs include principal interest, taxes, and homeowners insurance, and may include monthly assessments, mortgage insurance, and utilities. The income ratio is your monthly housing expense divided by monthly gross income to get that income ratio. Most conventional lenders require that this ratio be no greater than 25 to 28%. So in other words, a borrower's total housing expenses cannot exceed 28% of their gross income every month. For an FHA-backed loan, the ratio goes up to 29%, and VA loans not use a qualifying ratio. 
Now when we look at the debt ratio, it considers all of the monthly obligations of the income ratio plus any additional monthly payments the applicant must make for other debts. The lender will look specifically at minimum monthly payments due on revolving credit debts and other consumer loans. The debt ratio formula is monthly housing expense plus monthly debt obligations divided by monthly gross income again to get that overall debt ratio. Most conventional lenders require that this debt ratio be no greater than 36%. For the FHA or VA guaranteed loan, the debt ratio may not exceed 41%. So there we have it guys. There's some information for you to consider if you're thinking about buying a home anytime soon. Some of the information might be a little bit much to consider, but to keep it simple, we wanna be paying down some outlying debts that we might have and really upping those cash reserves as we consider putting an offer on a home in the future, you're gonna to have to put down that earnest money deposit and you're gonna to have to finish out that transaction by having your down payment for the actual loan that you receive. So thanks again for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me and definitely please take a second to subscribe. Thanks a lot for your time.